the Application Listings Dashboard. When the Application Listings Dashboard opens, you may need to scroll down to see the applications you have been invited to. Applications which are still being filled out will have a yellow status bar showing that it is initiated. To open an initiated application, you will click on the View button. Only the primary sponsor can delete an application. An invited group member cannot. So if you want to be removed from an application, you must contact the primary sponsor. And as you may recall from the previous segment, you can find their email address displayed on the group members page. Application submissions can only be done by the primary sponsor. However, invited group members will see a green submitted bar appear in the status column and you will receive an automated email notification from the PR portal with the local date and time of submission. However, in the dashboard listing, the application date submitted will show a different timestamp than your local time zone because it is displayed as universal time. Rest assured though, the timestamp is correct. To verify this for your own reassurance, however, you could use an online UTC conversion tool where you can see that the UTC conversion matches the local time of the automated email you had received. Once submitted, the application can no longer be edited in the PR portal, and only the primary sponsor will have the ability to download a zip file of the entire application. A red status bar will indicate that an application has been returned and an automated generic email notification will be sent by the PR portal to the primary sponsor. However, the Resettlement Operations Center in Ottawa, also known as Rocco, will also send a follow-up email to the primary sponsor with specific details about what may be missing in the application. Sponsors will not have a specific time frame in which they need to fix the application and resubmit. However, it's important to understand that the date submitted timestamp will reset upon submission. This means that the first in first out processing, also known as FIFO, will begin when the resubmitted application is received. It is not backtracked to the original application submission date and time because processing does not begin until a complete application is received. Now let's take a look at the Principal Applicant's Profile page by clicking on the View button here. 